hey everyone welcome back okay I'm gonna go over the colors with you guys really quick um, and today we're gonna be doing a dirty pour I'll go over the mix as well uh, the first color we have here is Prussian blue by Amsterdam and you can kind of see the consistency of my paints that is light gold by Amsterdam And then we have a mix of uh, Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. And that was Titanium Light Buff. And I added a, in a dash of Cobalt Violet Hue by Golden. This is Athena with Cobalt Hue or Cobalt Violet by Golden as well. Just a small bit. I got that gorgeous color and it shifts to gold. And then that is tea, this little piggy latte. And that's the golden cobalt violet hue. And then Amsterdam titanium white. Uh, my paints are mixed with my DIY pouring medium, which is roughly 25% golden um, regular gel gloss and the USA flood flow trawl. So 25% gel, 75% flood flow trawl. Um, if you guys check out the description underneath this video, I'll have a few more details on my mix. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm just layering my cup right now. There's no really rhyme or reason as to how I'm layering this. Or pouring my paints in. I am pouring from high because I kind of want them to mix and get all crazy in the cup. Um, all my colors, if they were fully mixed together, you wouldn't really get like a brown or mud. So it's kind of, you're safe with these colors as far as how you're pouring them in your cup. I did hold back on that light gold a lot. I just added a little bit in. Um, but I'll let you guys enjoy and I will be back in a little bit, um, probably during the tilt. All right, talk soon.
Okay, so you guys saw there I was pouring nice and slow and kind of twisting around just as I felt. Um, how, you know, when it was coming out of the cup, if I kind of wanted some more of this color over here, I would just kind of turn and whatnot. So you kind of just play with it and yeah, do your thing and then catch that drip. So now I like to torch for any air bubbles or to promote some cells. And as well, I kind of like to let the puddle kind of sit and do its thing, like develop for a little bit before I start stretching it or tilting. So now I'm gonna, going to put some of that Prussian blue just around the puddle. So it's just to help with the puddle um, moving and not folding over itself so I don't lose all that color um, on the edges on the outside of the puddle and at the last minute I, I decided to just kind of swirl in some little lines just to mess around So yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, just leave, leave them in the comments underneath this video. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. I will definitely stick on some tunes so you can watch and just enjoy the tilting process. And I will say go nice and slow. Make sure you always know where the weight of your paint is. Pull back to the center if needed. And... Always look around the entire canvas when you're tilting to make sure nothing's getting messed up or there's no chunks that are like completely destroying your composition or your designs. Um, if there are, stop, put the canvas down and get some tweezers and get it out. Um, yeah, and if there's a part that you don't like, try and tilt that off. So just make sure you get enough paint off the canvas and yeah, just try and get things in position to what you like. All right. Enjoy guys. Talk to you uh, probably at the end of the video here. Sometimes. I think you like keeping me on the fence You don't even try It's in your nature to play pretend I can't breathe when you're next to me I am suffocating silently yeah, I've been waiting patiently for you to make up your mind
So the purpose of the Prussian blue that I'm pouring down now is to help me cover up the rest of that corner, um, the size of the canvas as well. I didn't want to pour all that color off, so I'm just using some of that Prussian blue to help me keep uh, all that color and the swirls, uh, as much of it on the canvas as I can. So I'm just sort of rocking the canvas back and forth to get things moving again. And then I'll bring the weight of the paint down to that corner and then just tilt it over the edge. And whatever edges aren't covered, I will go back at the end of my um, tilting session and just kind of tidy up the size of the canvas using mostly the paint that has dripped onto the table. And if I didn't mention it, that's a 16 by 20 inch deep edge canvas. So now this is kind of the part where you have to decide where you want everything to sit, how you want your composition. Um, and then as well as you have to make sure you have enough paint off the canvas so it dries nicely. So I kind of wanted to just leave it as is there, but I felt like there was a little bit too much paint left. Things were still moving. Um, quickly and that's kind of a sign that you have too much paint left on your canvas so I am going to I chose the part of the painting that I like the least and I'm going to dump some of that off over the edge and then we'll go back you have to be careful at this stage as well not to mess up everything else so just keep your eye on things as you are tilting Definitely throughout the entire tilt, but at this stage when, you know, all the paint has spread out, you really have to be careful and just make sure you're glancing at every part of the canvas while you're tilting just to make sure that nothing's getting destroyed. And if it is, I would suggest um, going back the same way you came <laughs> to try and save it so tilting back the same way like the same trail like just go back if that makes any sense anyway so i'm just trying to dump some of that paint off and then just going right back so sometimes you have to sacrifice um parts of the painting it's just the way it's just how it is And I'm just spinning it around there so you guys can watch me tilt it back. So we're just slowly, you can see it's moving very slowly right now. So I'm confident that there is enough paint um, that has come off the canvas. And we are good to go just to leave it as is. Tidy up the edges. Scrape the drips underneath the canvas so it doesn't keep pulling your paint and moving it. I really do love this mix that I'm using with the gel and the Floetrol. Um, it really things just, like I've said before, stay put. So I haven't had any kind of um, drying issues or, you know, movement. Obviously, you do have to make sure your canvas is level. But even at that, um, things just kind of sit. The gel really just hold things, hold, holds the... Um, cells just the structure of the piece just stops it so uh, do we do a flash on oh yes right here so you can see some of the shimmer and a lot of gold lots of gold and that's from the small bit of gold by Amsterdam I dropped in and then as well as the Athena um, with the cobalt violet mix um, or yeah, it was Athena and Cobalt Violet. 
and that Athena is like a ro rose gold and it really throws a lot of gold. So love it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you are new to the channel, check out my other videos. Um, please hit the subscription button or subscribe just at the bottom or right underneath this video. You'll see a red button and click it to turn it gray. Let me know uh, what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, as always, thanks for stopping by. Talk soon, guys. Bye.